Hi, my name is Doug Cito, Senior Technical Support Engineer with TIPCO Jaspersoft Corporation. Today we're going to be looking at using JMeter with uh, REST data source. Typically you would wish to find out the kind of uh, performance you can obtain by using a REST data source over JDBC or some other such data source. And we are going to go over the different aspects of a JMeter script, where to obtain it, and so forth. JMeter is a third-party product that you can download from the JMeter Apache website. And uh, the current version is 3.3. .3. But for our example, we'll be using version 3.2. Here we have an example JMeter script. And what we're going to test is a data source that connects to the Jasper Report Server repository database. Uh, here we have uh, the first section which allows you to specify the uh, HTTP request defaults. So in my example, uh, I'm using the IP address of the local repository database, and I'm also using the port number of the application. And so uh, you can imagine if I were to uh, open a new browser and have this IP and this port, and you add the uh, application to the URL, it's going to give you the Jasper server uh, login page. Next, we have the thread group, and this allows you to specify um, how many threads are going to be working at once to send REST requests to the Jasper report server repository database. Uh, and you can see that I'm just doing a continuous loop just to get enough data so that we can see what the results look like over time. The first uh, prerequisite is that you would issue a login request. And uh, here we're using a post, and we want to pass the uh, J username and J password so that we can authenticate and uh, issue REST requests to Jasper Port Server. This is actually the main part of the, of the JMeter script, uh, and this is the actual REST request that I want to use to uh, do my uh, performance testing. And here uh, we're doing a get, and for the, uh, the rest path, uh, we want to pull the resources from the repository database. We're also going to be using the uh, header manager, and so uh, when we receive the, um, the rest response back from Jasper report server, we want to be able to accept it in a JSON format. Now, uh, after we uh, execute this script, we're going to see here in the, um, in the results tree the series of login requests as well as the actual uh, get for the resources from the uh, Jasper Report Server repository. Uh, you can also see the uh, request itself as well as the response data. And what you see here is actually um, all the different resources that it currently exists in your Jasper Report Server repository. And you can see in uh, this time graph, you'll see uh, two lines, one which corresponds to the login request and one which corresponds to the actual uh, response time when you're trying to pull the uh, all the different resources using that request. And you can see here that uh, I have five second intervals. And over time, you can see that uh, here is what the performance looks like. You can also get an actual um, aggregate report, uh, which shows the number of requests you've run uh, and several other statistics that may be of interest. And so in this way, we were able to actually do performance testing against a REST-based data source, and it utilizes the actual uh, REST API. Uh, and in our example, this is with the Jasper Report Server REST API. But if you have uh, any other REST APIs that you want to implement, you can use that in the same fashion as well. As long as you have the uh, REST URL or the endpoint, 
the uh, authentication request. And so with these two pieces, you'll be able to uh, utilize JMeter to test the performance for your particular REST implementation. Uh, that concludes this uh, brief demonstration of the REST JMeter script. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.